Hey there, so today we have another Battle Beers and this is between six of the most popular IPAs out there. So before you ask me, hey, where's XIPA? I will give you a pretty good answer. Well, this is what I have over here in front of you. This is a great diverse list of some of the best-selling IPAs out there, some of the classic ones, most recognized ones. Um, just these are some of the most popular IPAs out there. So that's the best I can do. Uh, some of your classic IPAs aren't there. So it is what it is. Let's do a battle beer. So first talking about these beers is that they're pretty fresh. Everything is around two months fresh at the very least. And the most aggressive of the bunch is Stone, who does a four month Best Buy. And everything is under th four months, under three months. They're around two months. That's pretty good. If you're gonna distribute beer, that's gonna be pretty good. So uh, let's just already dig in. Yeah, I get that sweet caramel uh, or crystal mold character, a little bit sugary. Mm. This one has a nice uh, uh, sugary uh, bread quality to it. There's some bread crust, a little bit of toasted brioche. The hop character is actually a little bit non-distinct, a little bit watery. So I'm going to uh, push every cup forward to one, six being in the back. This is probably like towards the back end of where the beers are going to be, uh, I'd imagine. Get some lemon character, a little bit of freshness. Cheers. Mm hmm. Balls. So that beautiful uh, lemon zest or some grapefruit dri driving in here. Clean. Get a little bit of that lice, uh, nice, nice. Uh, uh, malt character in the middle, but then it drives away into uh, into bitterness. This beer is balanced. It's, uh, it's good. Sorry, I, I don't like using the word balance uh, in the sense that uh, the bitterness actually cuts into the malt uh, quite nicely and actually lingers on the back end. I like it. This one's sweet. It's vibrant. It's uh, ripe. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That is tropical. That's papaya. That's pineapple that is delicious let's think of this one so i'm going so fast i'm just trying to like run through the beers i'm trying to give you first impressions and then it's a first impression battle beers this one has a little bit of sweet malt to it a little bit of this kind of like uh, garlicky chive onion dank thing what's that it's like a red a little bit of like goji berry kind of thing dancing in here A little bit restrained on bitterness. It's somewhere around there. It's maybe four. It's one, maybe four. Actually, has way more of the bitterness actually builds on the palate. Let's check in this one. Okay, this goes back to this one a little bit. This one is quite stripped of character. Um, it's a little bit floral, but has a little bit of that sweetness in the middle, but that's in the back of the pack. It just really doesn't say much to me. Uh, it doesn't really have much uh, hop character. It just has this like malt IPA thing going on. Cheers. Ooh, what is that? What is that? What is that? I don't even know what that is. You know what? My initial impression was that it almost reminded me of, um, excuse me, um, like dirty Budweiser water. Like, you know, like when you walk into a, like a dirty bar, frat party, whatever, whatever it is, it just has like dirty beer smell to it. It smells dirty. It might even be light struck possibly, but no. Ah, you know what? That one's so good. That one's in the back of the pack. Um, so back of the pack, this one goes. Oh yeah, I like that one. It's got this like bubblegummy watermelon thing dancing in there. So if this is six, five, this got to be four. Then I got, I guess I got to try one, two, three again. Proper bitterness. It's okay. Actually, I think I like this one more. So one, four, five, four, five, oh, sorry, six, five, four. This goes number three and then two. 
Ooh. Ah, oh, I love that kind of like a little bit of like uh, caramel, kind of like uh, crunching on caramel candy. Uh, the juiciness comes in. There's a little bit of like navel orange. Oh, that's good. That comes in number two. And then number one, I guess. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there we go. That is tropical fruits. It's ripe. It, it, it's it's mango-y. It, it's uh, like mandarin orange. It's a little bit more sweet than that. Not quite towards blood orange, but that is singing to me. So, um, yeah, I would say they, 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 all the beers are uh, pretty similar in color. Uh, I will say they are all classic IPAs. They're not hazy at all. They have that malt driving in there, but even the malt you have to sort of uh, look for and sort of find their character. Because honestly, despite this being IPA and be, being very hot forward, there are differences in malt between the three, uh, between the six of these. And um, I would say, yeah, good amount of diversity. And I, I will say that I actually have a decent amount of preference between these. So let's dig into them. Dogfish had... Womp womp. Sorry. Excuse me. No bueno. Number five. Bells. <laughs> really? All right. I know you guys. I, I, I won't pay for it, but I know somebody uh, uh, like smashed their keyboard right now. Bells, number five of the bunch. Honestly, I'm going to try it again for you. I'll tell you. It's a little bit floral. Honestly, it might be just a bad bottle, possibly. Again, this is like five, six weeks fresh. It's so bland. It's so bland. I don't know what to tell you. Number four, Ghost of Stone. Awesome. Stone IPA, right there. I'm actually surprised. I thought Stone might be a little bit higher. Uh, oh, we're finding results. New Belgium. What? Voodoo Ranger. Voodoo Ranger coming at number three. Uh, what a big surprise. Um, pretty interesting. Actually, let me retaste it. Ooh, again. They've definitely changed the recipe because I can't imagine the original uh, New Belgium Ranger. Actually, I remember the when it first hit New York, uh, this beer did not taste like this at all. Mm. Has a little bit of this like watermelon lollipop thing dancing in there. Um, it's actually pretty restrained on bitterness, but again, I, I guess my palate is like trained to uh, New England style, a malt, uh, malter there, but the bitterness is a little bit restrained, but it still, still grows on you. But the hop character is where it sings. It's a little bit more expressive and a little bit more fruity and vibrant uh, versus some of these beers, you know, floral, pine, um, like maybe herb character, maybe onion and danks, like here and that. Uh, this is decent, decidedly fruity, actually. This one's very decidedly fruity. Uh, number two goes here in Nevada. Yeah, that's just a great IPA. Um, it is pure IPA. It has a juicy malt character that I remember from Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, but this beer is much more uh, decidedly bitter, which is something that obviously IPA versus Pale Ale, but it is classic. It is well executed. It has beautiful uh, play between those piney uh, hops, that juicy malt in the middle, the bitterness that drives in the back end. And then guess what came in number one? High lie. There we go. This is the most expressive of the bunch. This, these two jump out, but this jumps out even more. It drives with a lot of the adjectives that are used for New England style IPA. It is clearly still uh, malt driven and still classic IPA, but it has signature notes that you find in New England style IPA. So that's where I, I sort of gravitate to this beer because it has pineapple, it has mango, and it still has bitterness too. So this is like the perfect balance for me. Um, also, I will give you guys a caveat. Uh, this is not my first run. So with this, you know, sometimes a video can go a little long and I could just say, hmm, and ha, mm hmm, and ha. And so I decided to blind myself. And I blinded myself uh, two, this is my third run, blinding myself on it. And again, no, you know, bias or anything. I could tell you like, oh, I, I knew this one was this one, this one was this one. Uh, I didn't do that. I just simply based it on what I uh, tasted. And the results actually came by three times through almost the same these two almost always came as number of uh, uh, always came as five and six these three dance around there and the stone dance right there um, so i'm actually very confident in my results on this one i can't promise you how the results turn on uh, like based on the packaging and, and the results of the beer but i will say i ran myself through this three times fully blind fully not knowing what beers were what 
and I find the results very consistent. I am very, very confident with these beers here that this is my preference. So I strongly, I guess, uh, have this opinion, and I strongly have this opinion. So post the comments. Let me know what you think. Maybe not everything was perfect here, but I have very sure confidence in my results. So I know you guys always like the first impressions, but I will tell you, I don't want to post a 12 minute video for you guys. Yappity, 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 yappin. This is what I got and this is delicious. This was fun. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later. Thanks a lot.